Lois Lenski grew up in Springfield, Ohio. The Lenskis had five children, three girls and two boys, of which Lois was their fourth child. In 1899, Pastor Richard Lenski was called to serve a parish in Anna, Ohio, and the family moved there. Lois Lenski's home life instilled in the importance of learning. In addition to being an avid reader, she was also skilled at sewing and drawing, often copying pictures from books and magazines. She graduated in 1911 from high school, then enrolled at Ohio State University. Following her mother's steps, she prepared for a career of teaching. In addition to education courses, she took as many art courses as possible. She graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Education. She moved to New York City to study at the Art Students League of New York. For the next four years, Lenski took art courses and worked part-time to support herself. In her illustration class, Lenski first met Arthur Covey. She soon became his assistant. Then, in October 1920, Lenski traveled to London and Italy. It was during her months in London that Lenski was first hired to illustrate books for the publisher John Lane. In 1921, shortly after returning from her travels, Lenski married Arthur Covey. She became stepmother to his two children, Margaret, aged 12, and Laird, aged 4. She spent much of her early career as an illustrator of children's books. Although she had never considered writing, the publisher suggested that she should write her own story to accompany her drawings. Then, in 1927, Lenski published her first book, Skipping Village, which was one of the Lois Lenski's most popular books and one of the special attachment to the Shelby Town. It is closely based on Lenski's growing up years in Anna and contains many references of unmistakable origin. Architectural style of the homes in this book cover mimics that of Anna homes. To those who have read the book, Skipping Village is Anna, or at least what Anna was a hundred years ago. The following year, she wrote her second book. A Little Girl of 1900, based on her childhood experiences. In 1929, Lois Lenski gave birth to her son, Stephen, and then moved to a farm in Connecticut that would be their home for over 30 years. Lenski began her Mr. Small series with the little family and the little out. Her book, Papa Small, is about the small family. Papa, Mama, Baby, Paul, and Paul is Mom, and everything that they do together over the week. In the 1930s, Lenski wrote a group of imaginative stories. These include Arabella and her arms, and Benny and his pen. Over the next decade, Lenski wrote six more historical books, including Fifth Fairchild, 1936, and Indian Captive, in 1941. They were both named Newberry Honor Books. Lenski also published picture books, including Sugar Plum House and Gooseberry Party. Inspired by her grandson David, Lenski began the Davis series. David lived with his grandparents during the summers of 1943 and 1945. Over his childhood activities became the basis for a series of six picture books, including David's Day in 1943 and A Surprise for David in 1947. In 1946, she received the Newberry Medal for Strawberry Girl and the recognition by the American Library Association of the 
outstanding children's book. This book is about a 10-year-old girl named Birdie Boyer who enjoys planting strawberries in her mother's garden. Birdie's family moves to Florida to plant their strawberries while there they have a conflict with their neighbors about them raising cattle and letting animals roam loose. Shostring Slater is one of the British neighbors. His horse ruins the boyer's strawberries. The boyers try to reason with the family, but their conflict just begins to amplify. By the end of the book, the feud between the two families begins to settle down, and the boyers eventually begin to cherish the Slater family. Although Lenski suffered from illness in 19... Although Lenski suffered from illness in 1950s, she gradually recovered and continued writing. And in September 1974, at 80 years of age, Lois Lenski died at her home in Florida. The popularity of her works and their distribution in other languages are testimony both to her skill as a writer and to her continuing appeal to children. Till now, her impact on children continues through the Lois Lenski Kobe Foundation, an institute whose purpose is to assist organizations in their efforts to provide books to children who might otherwise lack access to children's literature. And also, Lenski has an elementary school named after her in Colorado.